What's up YouTube? It's Paul, Combat Theory. Today we're at the funnest spot on Earth. That's right, Fun Spot Orlando. And I'm doing something that I always tell my new students never to do, ride the carousel. Seriously, what am I talking about? Carouseling. So carouseling is a term that we use here where you have a newer partner or you're new in the gym and instead of you guys just kind of working and pacing and being in front of each other, you start to like move like this. Like for some reason you have been told that you have to move. Like I like, hey man, make sure you have movement. And that translated in your head as we should just keep walking around like we're on a carousel. And because this is what uh, street fighting looks like, or this is what fighting in a competitive endeavor looks like. But I think initially you don't realize that this is a terrible mistake, right? Because like, we're on a big mat, like I'm on a big mat. Like I can just kind of carousel with him and he throws like a jab cross and I throw a jab cross and we can just kind of keep like, you know, doing this and it seems like we're moving and maybe, you know, the coach is happy because we're moving, but this doesn't make sense. Or maybe it makes sense here because when I'm carouseling on a big mat, it makes sense. It, there's no back. I can just kind of move around, you know, with my partner at immunity. But the truth is, in real competitive fighting, the minute I get here, I lost. So I'm literally, hey, I'm winning. I am winning right now. And then I start to carousel. I'm still winning. I am winning right now. But... As I continue to go, if he's an educated fighter, as soon as he gets here, if I try to go this way, he cuts me off. If I try to go that way, he cuts me off. He pressures me forward. And now, even though no strikes have been thrown, I am losing, sheerly because on the mat, I practiced carouseling. And now, I'm in a cage thinking like, oh, good movement means me going Oh shit, does that make sense to you guys? I can't carousel because even though on a mat it seems totally normal, in a competitive cage, it doesn't work. It messes me up because ultimately I am what I practice. And if I practice carouseling constantly, all of a sudden I'm gonna run into a situation where I'm like, Oh, I shouldn't have done that. But maybe you watch my videos with the intent of, hey, I don't plan on fighting competitively. I just want to be, you know, a great self-defense artist. Hey, that's cool. But carouseling doesn't work here either. Let's say I've got a guy and we're going to like, maybe we're going to fight. And I'm like, oh, you know what I should do? I should carousel. I let him out. Now he can like beat me up. I have nowhere to go except, you know, get beat up in this bush because carouseling is a bad idea. Stop doing it, please. All right, Paul, you don't want me to carousel. I get it. What do you want me to do? Well, two options. One, if I'm just learning a drill, there's nothing wrong with me and my partner just kind of marching in front of each other. He throws a jab. You know, I march, I throw my jab, he marches. This is fine movement. There's nothing wrong with kind of learning how to like, just shift your weight and march. But if you wanna be a little more complicated, you know, I could move forward, he could respect me and move back. I could move back, he could move forward. You know, I could step off to the left, he could cut me off. I could step off to the right, he could cut me off. And then we could do that as a drill. So let's say I'm in charge, you know, I throw my jab, I move forward, throw my jab, he moves back. I throw my jab, you know, I step to the left, I throw my jab. I could step to my left again. See, <laughs> this is something that, that's what good movement is. I don't need to be, you know, like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, on this endless carousel because I'm not a clown, all right? Or maybe I am a clown, but I'm trying not to be a clown, so I'm just gonna pace 
and march and throw my jab and he'll throw his jab. And that's kind of, oh, let me see if I can come forward. Oh, that was exciting. He comes forward. Cool. You know, that's what good movement looks like. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching a whole video about why you shouldn't carousel while I'm riding a carousel. Please like, comment, subscribe. You know, if you share a video on social media, it helps more than you could ever imagine. And maybe, just maybe on your day off, go ride a carousel. Just don't do it at the gym. That doesn't make any sense. Bye.